Mounting pressure from Etegwini ratepayers associations and opposition parties seem to have spared Mayor Nkulisi Kaunda into action. He's promised to ramp up service delivery and sort out water issues in the metro. About 25 ratepayers associations have threatened to boycott paying rates due to poor service delivery and high tariffs. ENC's Leti Wimdlul is following that story. She joins us now live from our studios in Deben, Etegwini. Good afternoon, Leti Wim. Welcome to today and thank you very much for joining us. A lot of actions seem to be happening there in Etegwin in our opposition parties and ratepayers raising their voices against all sorts of, of challenges. I wonder what the mayor is doing about it. Well, good afternoon, Braden. Well, the recent decision by the municipality to try and host um, excellence awards um, for their staff has sent ratepayers and also opposition parties in a frenzy, saying or accusing the municipality of wasteful. Um, expenditure. They are saying that the decision taken by the municipality to host these awards um, is not a sound one. They want those awards um, basically scratched. Um, basically what the municipality is trying to do is host these awards for about 200 of their staff and we do understand that it's going to cost the municipality about 1.7 million rand to host these awards and opposition parties are saying this money should rather be directed at service delivery. Red payers, as you said, um, are not happy with service delivery within the city. Um, there's a water crisis that we're facing and also um, the aging infrastructure that was damaged by the floods. Um, it hasn't been repaired. Most of it rather hasn't been repaired. And basically what opposition parties are saying that this money that the municipality plans on spending um, on these awards should rather be directed to that. They are also accusing the municipality of just not paying attention to what the residents have been raising over the past two years years and accusing the mayor of not listening to um, his residents. But in speaking um, to the mayor a bit earlier on, because he was holding a media briefing where he was giving us an update on some of the decisions that they took during a council meeting yesterday and also some of those decisions that they have taken in the past regarding these events, um, he did say that this is actually not wasteful expenditure on their part. They're just trying to encourage their workers to keep up the good work. But opposition parties, of course, are not not having it. This is what he had to say defending his um, idea or the planned event um, for the Stars Awards. I think you are uh, seeking to get more details about the actual cost and so on. Um, there is one particular point that is important to clarify. The City Stars event has not yet taken place. So there is no money spent yet. What was approved by council is 1.7 million for the event that is still going to take place. A large chunk of that venue goes towards the booking, sorry, a large chunk of that budget goes towards a booking or, or, or payment for the venue, which is Ingozi Albert Lutuli uh, International Convention Center. There is going to be in the region of about 200 stars uh, who are city employees that we want to reward uh, the kind of stars that the mayor was referring to who have been behind all this progress that you see, who have been behind ensuring that this city remains resilient, particularly after the triple disasters. So we have said that we are going to reward those. So um, uh, when you want to host an event, you always do an estimate. It's never um, an absolute figure. So the team are now going to, to uh, rework the details, looking at the quotations that we have received from the ICC. But I'm confirming that a large part of that is really going towards payment of the fee. I thank you. Okay, that was an explanation there by the city manager, Mr. Mpele uh, Lukele, about uh, why they are really insisting on continuing with this. But there are issues as well around the ANC caucus in, in, the, in, the, in the metro uh, currently, uh, supervising the work of the ANC that's happening there. Uh, what's the story there? 
Yes, but then apologies for that. That was the city manager, um, Musambele. But in regards to some of the rumors that have been uh, being reported about um, infighting between the ANC, um, we are hearing that um, there might be plans to oust um, the mayor from his position. But um, this has been defended by the deputy chair of the ANC in Eteguini, um, saying that this is not the plan. On Tuesday, we were at a media briefing um, at the ANC provincial offices, where the provincial secretary, Begim Dolo, did announce that the PEC here in the province will be supervising the metro. And this is due to some of the issues that the metro has been facing over the past year or two. Um, um, and they were saying that their supervision is basically going to be a political one. And um, we did speak to the mayor today, just asking him about these rumors of him um, want, or, or, or of other people wanting him to be um, removed from his position and also the supervision of the PEC. Um, he did say that um, this supervision is actually something that the ANC normally do, and they do sometimes supervise municipalities, and he's welcoming this decision. Um, the deputy chair of the ANC here in, in Eteguini was also defending um, the mayor, saying that there hasn't been talks um, within their meetings of having the mayor removed from his position, so these reports are false. But um, the mayor did elaborate further on uh, his thoughts regarding the ANC's PEC here in the province um, supervising the metro. This is what he had to say. The ANC uh, role of oversight this is not an issue for the debate. It is in the constitution of the ANC. So what the PEC has decided to do is to take the constitution of the ANC and uh, enforce it. That says that the PEC is responsible to conduct oversight to the municipalities. But some of those powers, it delegates it to regions. So therefore, what the PEC has said, let's work together with the region to play an oversight in Etewin. So we welcome that uh, with warm hands because it is in the constitution of the organization that has deployed us in this position where we are seated today. Ngolisi Kaunda, the mayor of Etewin, ending that update from Letiwe Mluli in Durban.